right. Suit up, man. Gotta get your jacket on there. <laughs> You good, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> Alright, guys. So, as you know, yesterday was a real crap day. Obviously, hit the wall and whatever. Uh, cars out, like, no point fixing it because the steering's still real bad. But, uh, we got some crazy news today. And, uh, we're gonna go over to someone who's a freaking good egg. And he's doing something to bring my mental and, you know, he's just trying to uplift me again, so. Hey, boys. So when he's got a minute, we'll, uh, we'll say g'day to him. So Cole Armstrong here, guys, and uh, what's the news, mate? Apparently you've got to have a good driver and a proper car with a proper <laughs> motor. You're not going to believe, he's letting me go into 34 today.
we're taking Conrad for a spin after all the help he gave us yesterday and obviously uh, let me use the car today. It's uh, probably the least I can do. He probably wishes he was driving, but... Uh... <laughs> I might show him up, I bet not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, the pressure's on now, because I'm going to drive it good. <laughs> oh, let's enjoy this. All right, so there's a big change of plans. I couldn't take Calv out. Um, oh, sorry, it was Conrad. Yeah, it was Conrad I was taking out, sorry. And, uh, yeah, they ended up running the pro sport battles straight away, so we're literally still in line, waiting to go. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd just run through the grid for you guys and also show you Cole's car because it's actually freaking nuts now. So obviously it's a G36. Uh, it runs a RB32. So yeah, it's a RB32. Dry sumped. All the bells and the whistles. Individual throttle, RB26 head. Uh, MSC turbo. Oh no, whole set, sorry. Whole set turbo. KW suspension, wise fab in the front. Uh, but the real trickery is this brand new Albans. So he's got a sequential uh, Albans dog box. It's the only one in D1NZ, I believe. And it's, yeah, all the basics in here. Dry some tank in the back, which I find really crazy because um, in Aussie, you kind of have to box all that up. And I can smell he's running good rides. It's a freaking wild machine. Does what he needs to do. Makes like six, 600 kilowatt, I think. And uh, I'm gonna chuck some cameras on when he does the battles. Uh, Cause I'm kind of sitting here, sitting here hoping I'm gonna get some laps in. And yeah, anyway. Now we got Zach's car, brand new engine. RB28, sleeve the engine. I think it's a new block. Yep, new block. New block. Individual, he still runs individual throttles still. Uh, he's got a lot of trickery going on in his exhaust. I even heard that he may have a spark plug down there now. Hell. That's for all the flamages. So uh, it runs a 9180. Yeah, 9180. Dry sump again. Uh, he runs all Howtech gear. Has a Jericho. So yeah, there's all the elite Howtech stuff. He's got NOS in it, the dry sump down there. Uh, and then, yeah, it's actually a, a crazy sounding car, this one. Uh, some people have even said that it sounds better than the Beamer now. So you're winning for now, Zach. The things have got to change, brother. <laughs> nah, it's a crazy machine. Everyone's been uh, rubbing his door all weekend. So hopefully I can get some uh, cameras on this one too. I'm gonna be a busy boy later. Just trying to get you guys some footage, eh? Don't know whose car this one is. Actually, yes I do. It's Cody Pullenbury. Link, look how clean they are inside. It's freaking nuts. I don't know what engine's in it, but by the look of it, oh yeah, that'd be a 2J. Big 2J with another dog box in it. They all got big diffs. And it's either Link or Howtech here. There's nothing really else. And here's a 34. This thing is so freaking good. Everything you need, really. Oh, still can't believe he let me drive it. Such a good bloke. But yeah, then, the, you know, everything here is nothing short of just crazy. Like, Carl's car, it's just stupid. Like, all the trickery that's going on in it. Everything's easily accessible. Bulkheads everywhere. All MoTeC. Everything's carbon. Carbon doors, carbon dash, carbon inner door skins. Uh, dry carbon bonnet. Big freaking LS in it. And then Brucey's, it's got the Winters, the G-Force, RB32 again. It's got all the gear, everything you need. Then you got, geez, it just gets crazier. Then you got Jesse's car. This thing is nuts, bro. This thing is so crazy. It's actually got a billet 30 bottom end. Uh, all Howtech gear, NOS. Yeah, this thing's like six, 700 kilowatts. It's just ridiculous. And then uh, 
it just goes another level again. Darren Kelly, look at this. It's nuts. This thing's getting a few upgrades soon. So it's got a TTI now. Uh, RB32 in it. Oh no, RB34, that's right. Winters, rear radiator, big ass Brembos. But yeah, he's got lots happening to this car. And hopefully he's got some more news about a second car or something, I don't know. He's got a lot in the pipeline and I don't know what's going on. So you should head over to his, uh, his YouTube channel, Drift Biology, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, you'll see a lot going on in that channel soon. His new naming rights sponsor is uh, keen as on doing a lot of work with him, so it's awesome to see. Hey, you're on, you're on today's video. I was filming you yesterday, bro. Because I'm like, look at this, this is full Kiwi. Oh, sorry. Arby, Arby, I mean a freaking 13B in a laurel, mate. Good luck today. Yeah, I will, I will. This is a pro sport car. No, it's loose. <laughs> and most of the pro sport cars are just stupid good as well. So, it's pretty awesome. Love coming to New Zealand. Anyway, hopefully we can get some laps soon. Just gotta film some pro sport stuff. Try and get some battles in for you.
Paul's car started running on five cylinders if you didn't pick that up. I probably should have stopped on the first lap I did, but I was kind of hoping it was some weird limit I didn't know about. But anyway, we're up in the VIP area and I'm just going to film the rest of the battles for the day. Because it's going to be freaking awesome. Isn't it? It's going to be awesome. Yeah, even though we're not driving. It's going to be a good watch. <laughs> hey, look who it is. What's going on, brother? You guys don't know who that is. Is you on Instagram? Missile Mike. Missile Mike, that's right. I should have known that. Sorry, bro. Missile Mike. I'm going to put it here because it's bloody worth a follow. He travels the world being a mechanic for pretty much every top person you know in the world. Like Mike, you'll say, hey, we'll leave it there, right? Go and have a look. <laughs> Alright, on to the battles. Here we go. Benny and uh, Carl. Is that Ben or Troy? That's Troy. Yeah. Here we go.
off the beach and who's the other guy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. so. Now we got Darren Kelly and Thorley. This is the battle that I was meant to have.
Then to the top, mate. One vote for Cole Armstrong. One more time vote for John Cantor. Whoa! Goalie! And Cole Armstrong, your current championship leader, will move through into the top eight here in front of the home crowd. It doesn't get much better than having to battle somebody two, two times New Zealand Drip Kings and to put it out there on the track tonight. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So, man, that was unreal. I'm speechless. That was a uh, uh, final battle right there. Fingers, that cut is so fast. We need to take the tire valves out of this thing to <laughs> send it into this first corner. But I hope you guys love that. That was a fat battle. Cole, a hometown crowd. Oh, mate, I'm so I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hey, uh, I tried to blow it out the park with coming up in the chopper from a bunch of helicopters. Uh, something a bit different, but um, hey, let's roll on for the next battle. It's the Bedline G36 Skyline's going to put it to the wall. We're certainly going to put it to the wall. Look, we'll be right back after the break. D1 is on your goalie. Back. This battle is going to be good.
baseball world. Jesus. That was a big hit. I love how he's watching himself. <laughs> Man, that was a wild lap from Fengtar. Jeez, no. Dazza and Cole Armstrong. Man, this is going to be nuts. I'm going to call. I reckon. We have one more time to begin with. Right off the bat. So now we're into the top four, and we got Taylor James and Carl Thompson, and then we got Liam Burke and Darren Kelly. going on in here. You got your judges, you got Brendan. Joe wasn't there, she's gone out. But uh yeah, a lot of people behind the scenes here to make it all work, so freaking nuts. It's actually a really good crowd here too. Here we go.
be a ripper battle.
It's all packed up. Well, most people are left. Hey guys! So we're, we're gonna wrap it up almost. This will be. This will be. <laughs> did you do that? This is the wrap up before the wrap up. How was your weekend? Yeah. What are you like that for? <laughs> oh. Sorry, it's camera. See what I have to deal with? Yeah, you're not bloody wrong. You guys never see these guys on camera. Because they're hanging with Cole Armstrong. Keep behind it. They are always behind the cameras. They look after Darren Kelly, Cole, and uh, you guys just film everything, really. We try. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway. You do a pretty good job. But we're not going to wrap it up here, guys, because we're going to go out on the track and see what's going on out there, because it's actually quite interesting. And then you can hear a lot of music going on in the background. It's the after party. I'm not really interested in it, because I don't drink much at all, ever, really. But we might go there. We'll see. I'm not really keen, though. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go to the track and see what's going on out there. Good to see you guys again. Awesome. Awesome weekend you for you too. Oh yeah, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Big things to come. Oh. And an RB. Oh. <laughs> Let's cut to the track. What a legend. On you, bro. Bloody legend. Look at these boys, eh? Thanks, brother. Putting the track back. Absolute legends. <laughs> Giving up the after party for it. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, while the after party's going on, me and Keg thought it'd be a good idea to make sure the guys have got some drinks while they're digging. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are literally only a couple of hours out of the event and they are already fixing up the track, covering all up with dirt that they put on the infield here. And they are also cutting up the concrete that they laid down uh, extra to make all the track work so crazy operation that they got going on here and uh, I must admit this was one of the most sort of intense arenas and whole event in total uh, that I've ever been to it was it was awesome and I was filming everything from where was I straight ahead, straight ahead? Yeah. yeah literally straight ahead up there yeah, that's where the judges are yeah oh yeah and that's where the spotters stay so we're, that's where we were in the spotters yeah right yeah so that's where you've seen all of today's footage. Um, and yeah, it was pretty awesome to watch up there. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I watched everything through this camera just so I could get the battles for you guys. I know it went live, but I kind of feel like it'd be cool to show you guys a whole event. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, me and Keg got a lot of discussing to do uh, and trying to figure out where we're gonna go from here. Cause obviously there's a lot of damage to the 8.6, but we're not giving up. <laughs> that's not happening no. we're not going to give up so uh, huge thanks to Keg like the whole DKM crew Keg, Kyle, Jesse uh, even, you know Joe. she puts up with all the crap that, <laughs> with me stealing Keg from her all the time and uh, yeah it's just a huge amount of effort that goes in even all the way through to like Steve at Galore Parts Group getting stuff sorted before the event um, like Casper and all they do with like, like getting the gearbox sorted for the, the round before this. Uh, direct clutch, these boys to make the clutch issues oh, gone. We've fixed car, it. Car's been so good, <laughs> so good. We've fixed like everything on the car, but the steering. Yeah. So uh, and there's a lot of underlying issues around that whole setup. So yeah, just massive thanks, and obviously a massive thanks to uh, Valvoline D1NZ like world-class event this was insane and you know you've made it when uh streakers have tried four. to hit four it was four four streakers four. tried to hit the live stream and none of them were drivers this time <laughs> i'm not gonna put that in <laughs> nah i can i guess <laughs> uh, uh but we're gonna wrap it up there guys so yeah i hope you enjoyed this really long video and i hope you don't mind but uh there's a lot happening behind the scenes i'd love to be able to tell you uh but we don't even really know just yet so Fingers crossed we can sort everything out and we'll be back for round four. Like we want to be there. Yeah. And Keg wants to drive again too. Yeah. So. I want to drive and I'll drive if he's there. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to talk. We got to nut some, nut some stuff. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I don't ever ask this, but if you can just chuck a thumbs up there, subscribe. And uh, cause I now know that 60% of you aren't subscribed that watch this, but it, you know, it is what it is. 
and I, I just hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, thank you, and that is a wrap for round three at Bay Park, D1NZ. See you guys.